Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I can look like this and then look like this in no time at all. Good morning, everyone. This is how I look without any makeup and with my hair just freshly washed last night. I kind of look deceased, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna show you my hacks for how I go from looking like a this to this. So this is basically how I get ready each day. And by each day, I mean the days that I can actually get my shit together and get ready. First step is hair. So I love my hair, but it can be a bit of a bitch sometimes. So depending on the shampoo and conditioner I use, I can typically straighten my hair the day after. Gagne fructis, baby. So I use this coconut water shampoo and conditioner. I've been actually using this for so long. Silicon free and paraben free. And I feel like that's why it just makes my hair feel so good. And this is for oily roots and dry ends, which is exactly what this is. I'm not a hairstylist and this is probably like really bad for your hair. But guys, this does great for me. I suggest this. Next up, straightening my hair. I use a Muck style stick for this because I used to have a GHD and they're actually really crappy now. <laughs> Got your nails. I'm glad this is not turned on. So as much as I love my curly hair, it's just really hard to manage throughout the day. So I straighten it and straightening my hair after using that shampoo literally takes like 10 or less minutes. First thing you do is is apply a heat protectant. I wanna say that my heat protectant ran out, but let's be honest, I just don't want my hairdressers to know that I don't have a heat protectant. I used to. So for my hair, I like to use really tiny children's brushes, just because it's basically the size of the straightening board. Go through and straighten my hair like that. The highest temperature it goes to is 230 degrees. Then I grab the straightener, I slowly hold the brush while I pull the straightener down. Ta-da! That's how you straighten your hair. Is there a kink in there? Whoops, I stayed too long. <sighs> Whenever I do stuff on the camera, I feel like I always do it wrong. And then I just look like an idiot. So if I miss a piece of my hair, excuse me, I'm blind. See how easy that is? And it looks so good. It used to take me an hour to straighten my hair and now it takes like 10 minutes. Guys, I look like a different person. <laughs> That's literally half my hair done, and that probably took like three minutes. Wow, girl. <laughs> Who am I? Am I Kim Kardashian? Kim, people are dying. Is the back of my hair straightened? Probably not, you know? But I think there's some things that you should fight for and there's some things that you should try but then give up later. And that's called straightening the back of your hair and probably the top of my hair. Now my head looks bigger than my hair. Key hack, don't forget your side burns. Beautiful. <laughs> Hair is done. I have all my makeup here and I'm gonna do a really quick like makeup routine, which is my go-to makeup routine. It takes about like under 10 minutes, I would say. I can also extend it out to two hours when I'm trying to get ready for a party, even though it's kind of the same look and I look better when I just do it in 10 minutes. Best thing I use is a Too Faced Hangover Primer. I actually like the Fenty one so much better, but hey, there's a pandemic and I don't really need to go and get it. I got one. Ooh. Oh. That feels so good. Primer is honestly genuinely makes your foundation look so much better. My hack for primer is basically just using finishing spray and spraying it on your face beforehand. Does the same job. It makes your face tacky. People have also suggested the Nivea aftershave balm, which is meant to be really good. I have used my dad's one and it was really good. You just smell like a man. The next thing I use is this Marc Jacobs highlighter and I actually use it underneath to like feel like the glowy bitch that I want to feel. I make sure that I don't ever put it on my t-zone. I just put it on my cheek. My t-zone is that area just because that area tends to get sweaty. Like I have pretty like normal skin. Part of my nose gets very oily. Next thing I do is use the Tarte Shape Tape to do my concealing. I basically make sure that I go down in a triangle underneath my eyes, above my forehead, and above my lip. Down my nose. I look like I'm in Avatar, the James Cameron movie. Though I'd rather be in Avatar, the last airbender. I wanna be Aang. While that's doing its thing and concealing, it's time for the foundation. Honestly, it's probably smarter to put the foundation on first and then the concealer on later. My favorite foundation is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. I've been using it for years. It is like my favorite foundation ever. No other foundation has bet this foundation. Woo! And the crowd goes wild for MAC Studio Fix Foundation. 
it's just the perfect consistency for my face. Like, I don't want to look like a cake, but I don't want to look like I'm not wearing any makeup either. I want to be in the middle. And Studio Fix Fluid is where it's at. So I use this foundation for my face, my normal skin. But I also use a Huda Beauty foundation for my nose because it gets super oily and I need that to be super matte throughout the day. And this is like the only foundation that like matches my nose. My nose is so annoying, I know. This is in brown sugar. Like key expecting it to be cappuccino or mocha because all brown shades are called them. I do it in circling and padding movements. Underneath the jaw, you don't want that line on your face. <laughs> You also need to get foundation in the corners of your eyes. I feel like people really miss foundation there. I like to use a flat brush and go into my concealer and kind of like gently, not too harshly, just like blend it in to my foundation. I hope I blended everything out. I also like to go in with my Huda Beauty foundation onto my nose and like dab that base it's done she's looking good next up is my favorite it's called bronzing my face so I look like a goddess so bronzer is basically everything I use bronzer for pretty much a lot of elements in my face just because it brings the look together it is one freaking product that you need you save money and you can just do so much with it so if you want to get ready quickly in the morning find a bronzer that you like and that you also would like for eyeshadow so sometimes I use the hula caramel bronzer but most of the time I live literally have made my own Morphe palette with like three eyeshadows and I literally use this shadow. I'm sorry if I said literally like five freaking times. I use this eyeshadow as my bronzer. Dab my brush in there to the side my face and up and down. Then I do circling motions down along my chin. Skip this part where my highlight is and do it on the top of my head. And you want to marry that on the other side of your face. I'm literally using eyeshadow for this. How funny. Fish face. Fish face. This is how you go from looking like a deceased animal to a slightly less deceased animal. Keep blending that out. We're going to come back to the eyeshadow, but I like to complete my contour with the shade and light contour. Um, what's different from a contour and a bronzer is that a contour is a more solid color, while my bronzing color was to warm up my face. And this is to like chisel my face into like Superman. With your bronzing color, you want to get the sharp edge of the brush. Dip it in very lightly because this is a very strong color. And then go over your bronzer, but not throughout the whole thing. And I like to use like the excess to so, like go onto the sides of my nose to kind of thin that down. While I'm at this stage, I use my Fenty little lip scrub, like lip balm. Now it's eyeshadow time. So with eyeshadow, I like stick to the outer corner and then go around the shape of my eye. Blend while I'm there. Blend. Do a little bit underneath. And I like to keep the middles of my eyes not entirely filled with color just because it makes them a lot bigger. So that's the same color as my bronzer. As you see, it just like matches my face now. And the next thing I do is I do my brows. I use the Morph like eyebrow pot. It's a brow cream and I love it. It's just as good as the Anastasia Beverly Hills like brow promenade. Oh promenade but it's so much cheaper and I use Java which is like a dark brown now I'm so sad because I left my brush that I use this with back at my parents house and now I have like a really shitty brush to do my eyebrows with like this is not an angled brush get an angled brush and do your eyebrows like that I kind of just have to pretend that this is an angled brush and just follow the natural curve of your eyebrows my eyebrows are done. Ah! Now that that's done, we're going to focus on the rest of the eyeliner. Just before I start my eyeliner, I'm going to use my hourglass setting powder just to like set my base just because all that stuff is done. So 
go on for my nose first because that's what gets oily. Like this is a good translucent powder for pretty much like any skin. If you want to do mascara, which doesn't take that long, eyeline your eyes, tell your lashes and put some mascara on, put a couple different mascaras on that have different properties. But I recently had eyelash extension. They pretty much took out all my long lashes. So I have really stubby, small lashes right now because I'm going to be filming a video after this. Multitasking. <laughs> I want to have my fake eyelashes on. So just so you know, if you're getting ready in the morning, maybe don't go for false eyelashes if it takes long. Honestly, it takes me like 20 seconds right now or less. But what I do is I put the eyeliner on and then I curl my lashes. I put my mascaras on. I let them settle down for a bit. I don't put as much mascara on as I would if I am just doing mascara. But the everyday lashes that I use, what everyone uses, and they are the Ardell Wispies, which are like long in the middle and kind of short in the ends. I love these. So with my eyeliner, I'd like to make a very, hi, <laughs> I like to make a very thin line, like that thin, like just so I have more like eye space. You just want the line to be so thin that it just covers your mascara band because I have such like short eyelids that you can't really see my eyelid if I have really thick eyelashes or thick eyeliner that covers the whole eyelid. So I do like doing a little flick at the end. I'm just gonna do that in my mirror because I don't trust myself on camera. There you go, I did it! It's like the shortest line, most obvious line ever, but it's just there to act like your last eyelash. Do you know what I mean? You'd never want it to go past the end of your lashes that you're putting on. Next up is some mascara. Obviously, I'm taking forever to do this just because I'm telling you guys how to do it. It really does not take that long. There. Ta -da. Make sure you put it on your bottom lash line just because it makes such a difference, guys. For the lashes, I use the Duo Glue and everyone uses this glue. Really easily tacky. Pop my lashes off and put a dollop off it on my hand. I do like the hardest one first just because I then feel more successful and happy with life when I get that one done because that one's hard. Hold on, I can't do it. I can't do it right now. Um, I'll be back. I'm back. All right, so the hack about lashes is that you have to put them on the top of the lash so your lash is lifted up. Whew. While we're here at the eyes, we might as well put some inner corner highlight, baby. I'm using Champagne Pop, which everyone loves for so long, and I'm just gonna put them in the corner of my eyes. Just makes it look like I have gotten enough sleep and not the feeble, like, five hours that I did. Guys, we it's coming together. We are looking presentable for the day. My last and biggest tip is to have a go-to lipstick that you always wear every day that is like suitable for anything that you wear. A lot of my makeup is burnt orange brown based. So the lipstick that I went with was Slow Ride by NARS. If you've been watching my channel, you know I love this baby. It's pretty much like the only lipstick I've used for like the last two years. Gorgeous, like burnt orange brown. It's not like super orange. There we go. Let it dry while it gets all up in my teeth. While you're here, you can like add a little bit of highlighter to your face. I used to use like a fan brush to do this, but it just didn't blend that well. So using your fingers is good. Under your brow. Ta-da! This is a makeup look that I usually go for on like a daily basis. It honestly takes under 10 minutes because I'm just using a few products. I pretty much use only like one color throughout my whole face and it just brings it all together. Oh, guys, last but not least with makeup is of course the finishing spray that we used at the start. <laughs> just spray. Oh, your face! And let it set for a bit. Okay, don't touch it. Oh, 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 is it a reveal? Everyday makeup, straight hair, looking fine and fresh and feeling good. This is the final look. It's super bright and bubbly and just nice and neutral. I actually really like it. And it's such like an everyday good makeup for me. I hope you guys like picked up some of the tips and tricks that I wanted to teach you about how I get to looking kind of decent in the morning. And it doesn't take that long. It takes like 10 minutes. If you guys have any helpful tips and tricks please leave them down below a lot of people would love to hear them there you go Done. thanks guys for watching and bye